this motorcycle has really been moving out. It's breaking news in Bellflower. Obviously, police pursuing that motorcycle. And Will Coltrider is live over the scene at News Chopper 4. Will? This is on the east side of the, uh, Ella, or the San Gabriel River here, uh, right near Firestone. It's, it, we've been watching for the last few minutes. This uh, rider of this dirt bike has been chased by uh, sheriff's deputies. Now he's in kind of a homeless encampment there. Not sure what he's wanted for, but at the very least, he is wanted for uh, uh, failing to yield to uh, the uh, sheriff's deputies. There is an air unit overhead, so pretty much wherever this guy goes, oh, he just crashed. He just crashed. He's under some power lines there that you can see through, but he's uh, been on this dirt bike. He's, wow. Okay, that's, uh, he's not having luck getting back up on it. Uh, we've seen some close calls, uh, but, uh, he is, uh, he is, he's been riding very quickly on uh, bike paths uh, in the uh, riverbed itself, the San Gabriel River, and uh, this is kind of near uh, uh, Newmeyer and Foy is what we're hearing uh, as the nearest intersection as far as surface streets, but this is a, kind of an inaccessible area for cars. He's back up and running on this uh, dirt bike. Again, this is right next to some railroad tracks near the LA or San Gabriel River here, uh, kind of near uh, Imperial was the last major, major street we went by. We're uh, eastbound right now. Well, uh, Will, we're, we're watching this. Obviously, he's having some trouble uh, riding the bike. Is this a stolen bike? Yeah, it's it's interesting. He's, it, you know, when he was going at a high speed, he was doing very well, but he's having he's having a lot of trouble there. He's going for, he's running now because he sees the units converging on him. Uh, so we do have sheriff's units converging. Boy, oh, oh there's look, people there. Are people there. there. Yeah, he just went right into that house or went into the backyard. We'll keep it kind of wide to see where he goes exactly here. But uh, and what community but, uh, is he are, in here? Uh, well, let's see where he is. He's running through the driveway. Sheriff's deputies have their guns drawn. They're obviously uh, a, a very sure of where he is. That You saw that air unit go right through our shot there. Again, no word as to exactly what this guy was wanted for. He was picked up initially in the riverbed, the San Gabriel well, Riverbed. going along the side of the house, Will. And now he's running. What is his community? We, uh, we're near the What's San Gabriel River, River, but where are we? We, we are near where the uh, 105 ends at the 605. Just now he's going to get in that greenhouse. If yeah, can. there's a greenhouse there, and uh, uh -huh. he's continuing to run. Again, this whole thing being watched by the air unit above. So they, he's not really in danger of getting away at this point because they are watching him just as carefully as we are. This is sort of an area, as I mentioned, uh, just east of the 605, north of the 105. Looks right like he might be slowing down a little bit. A lot of hills and things, uh, and a lot of, uh, looks like, uh, uh, you know, uh, the crop activity here, some sort of uh, like greenhouse and other yeah, stuff. Yeah, it does look like a nursery yeah. there, a huge yeah. nursery. Uh, what is the closest unit other than the officer who had his gun drawn on the... Uh, on the cul-de-sac or the street there. Where's the closest unit? Well, that's just the thing. The closest unit is actually the air unit that you see out of the right corner of your screen there moving around. They're keeping an eye on him, but uh, they don't really, you know, have anything right nearby that's able to get into this uh, into this area. Now, he's headed into uh, kind of uh, what looks to be some sort of homeless encampment there, uh, and uh, there aren't any... If the sheriff's does have uh, dirt bikes. They do have uh, those kinds of uh, uh, equipment available to them, but th they're not here on the scene. So uh, we're watching this from the air, and uh, the uh, sheriff's units, as far as uh, four-wheeled cars, are, are not right nearby, but they're certainly watching it from the air. But we do have some pedestrians walking along the riverbank up there. And, uh, oh, there he goes. There he is. He's, There's he's somebody uh, standing right there watching. Yep. He's shown a, 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 a great affinity, apparently, for the uh, for the, the San Gabriel Riverbed there. He's really spent most of his time in the riverbed. That looks like we have some kind of photo shoot or movie shoot going on right oh there. Oh, my gosh. That's the interesting. Photo shoot in the uh, there's sheriff's deputies. Oh, there are the sheriff's deputies right there. And, oh, wow. Yeah, one thing about L.A. is there's always something going on production-wise. They seem just <laughs> as surprised to see him as... Uh, look at them. They all have their what look like little phones out taking pictures see the guys in the black there yeah. yep 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 they are everyone's watching him there are four deputies now on scene five deputies and uh listening to the their deputies above as well so that they're pretty much converging on the scene on foot you were asking yeah, right under the tracks there yeah, he's right under the tracks there we'll get that uh, sharpened up and well where did this start where did this start what was he wanted for originally 
That's the, that's a, the million dollar question. We understood okay. he was first picked up uh, yeah, at the San Gabriel Riverbed uh, by uh, Pico Norwalk units of the LA County Sheriff's Department. It may have just been illegally riding that dirt bike in the riverbed. That's uh, at, at the very least, that's what it was. Um, and then certainly once he had a car behind him, they were not, uh, he was not uh, obeying their commands to uh, pull over. And so that's where we are now, uh, kind of going back and forth around the San Gabriel River near the intersection, the interchange of the 605 and the 105. You know, every one of these pursuits is different, and this <laughs> is the first one that ended at a photo oh, shoot. There is. Yeah, I've never seen uh, some sort of product. There was some sort of movie production or photo shoot or something going on there. A lot of deputies on foot suddenly converging on the photo shoot with that guy trying to hide under the uh, railroad track bridge there, but uh, as you can see, unsuccessfully. Once again, what we're watching here is the end of pursuit. Uh, the guy uh, being escorted down the walkway there was on a mountain bike, no helmet. That could have been one of the reasons they stopped him to begin with as well. But he's being escorted out of the area. And you said uh, this again is at the uh, 105 and the 605 there? Kind of just north of Firestone Boulevard near where it crosses the uh, 605. You know, the 605 runs parallel to the San Gabriel Riverbed there. And uh, that, is, uh, that is pretty much where we are. A pullout. Kind of